This is Changi Airport of Singapore. In 2019, it handled 68 million passengers, one of the busiest in the world. It also holds the title of world's best airport for eight straight years. The airport currently has three parallel runways. This is Sydney's Kingsford Smith International Airport. Last year, it handled 45 million passengers, making it the busiest airport in the entire Southern Hemisphere. It has three runways, two of which are parallel and one intersects the two. No awards for a Sydney airport, but quite decent. And this is Ninoy Aquino International Airport of Metro Manila, the primary gateway of the Philippines. Last year, it handled a whopping 48 million passengers, but it only has two runways, and both of them intersect with each other. So this brings us to these burning questions. What are the significance of parallel and intersecting runways? And are these one of the factors as to why Manila has so many delayed flights? Let's find out in this video. Manila, the capital of the Philippines, home to 15 million people. It's no wonder why the Dinoy Aquino International Airport is one of the busiest airports in Southeast Asia. However, it was never a smooth ride. From 2014 to mid-2016, flight delays in and out of Manila has worsened. During peak hours, a departing aircraft can sometimes take 20 to 30 minutes to taxi from the terminal to the active runway, with a waiting time of at least like an hour before the air traffic control issues a takeoff clearance. Also, when there are too many arrivals, it creates a bottleneck at the airspace, forcing some flights to hold at a certain waypoint. That creates stress to both pilots and air traffic controllers. So, what is the root cause of these delays? Let's take a closer look at Naia's runways. Naia has two runways, the primary runway 0624 and the secondary runway 1331. This limits the simultaneous operations of the airport, meaning flights that land and take off at the same time is close to impossible. Runway 0624 is the only runway used for instrument approaches, which is capable of handling up to 23 landings per hour. Beyond that, the aircraft is expected to hold mid-air until they can be accommodated by Manila radar approach. Holding mid-air is inefficient because it burns a lot of fuel, uncomfortable to the passengers, and adds stress to the already stressful work of an air traffic controller. Imagine that these two intersecting runways are highways. Cars not just cross the intersection. In the absence of a traffic light, the driver separates himself from those vehicles coming from both sides. Aircraft, on the other hand, can't just simply stop and float midair. The principles of aerodynamics state that, even if you turn off the engines of an aircraft, it will still continue to glide in a fixed rate of descent. Therefore, if there's a lot of arriving traffic at runway 06, there has to be enough spacing to allow departures for runway 06 and runway 13, the intersecting runway. Same principle goes when runways 24 and 13 are in use. Manila approach can only accommodate 23 landings per hour. What happens when it goes higher than that? If there are 25 landings at a given hour, the last two aircraft will hold over Manila, which will be carried out to the next hour. Now, if the succeeding hour has 27 arrivals, there will be an additional of four aircraft holding mid-air. Now, when the number of arrivals becomes out of hand, chances are the number of aircraft holding mid-air will start to pile up until it comes to a point that they're being held up above for too long. When they declare diversion fuel, they'll proceed to their alternate aerodrome or to the nearest airport indicated in their flight plan. So, what are the solutions for this predicament? Also, Baird Plus. 
plans to build Terminal 5, which will service low-budget carriers, which has increased the volume of passengers for domestic and foreign travel. To cope with the traffic of planes landing and taking off at the Naia, a third runway will be built to be completed in 2016 before the president ends his term. A third runway will be built. A third runway. A third runway. Adding a third runway to the already congested space of Nia is not an option. You need to relocate at least a hundred thousands of residents living in Pasay Parnaque area just to accommodate the proposed third runway. More so, it requires a safe distance of at least 760 meters to ensure the safe operations of simultaneous departures and arrivals. In late 2016, the airspace planners designed a new procedure for runway 31 departures. The procedure, Harbol 1, is one of the solutions seen to curtail the congestion. Therefore, the tower controller is able to give off takeoff clearances for runway 31 and runway 06 or 24 simultaneously. Another procedure that has been implemented since 2012 to mitigate the delays is the ground delay program of air traffic flow management. All flights except for military and VVIP flights that are bound for Manila will be subjected to a ground delay. The ATFM calculates the precise takeoff time of a flight to Manila. With a ground delay, this ensures that all inbound flights are sequenced and holding will no longer be required. It is also practiced in New York and other busy airports around the world. It's better to delay on the ground than holding midair. One problem was some airports in the Philippines are not capable of night operations. Hence, most domestic flights are squeezed into the daytime slots. Some key domestic airports of the country have already been upgraded and certified to operate beyond sunset in order to address the issue of uneven distribution of flight schedules, especially on the domestic sector. This is just one of the factors why flights in and out of Manila get delayed. Other factors include weather, runway incidents, and special operations. Flying has already been a part of us. It connects our archipelagic country, and it builds bridges to every region of the Philippines. It brings us closer than ever. From what it's worth, we deserve a better international airport. One can dream of having a world-class airport in our own country.